Well, this next pair, this is it. Tim Wilkerson and Paul Lee. Wilkerson is trying to get into his 300th race in Funny Car. He arrived here eighth in the points, but he is not in this field. Let's go to John Kernan. He has John Ford. One in the points, number two in qualifying right now. But, John, I want to ask you about your daughter, Ashley, moving up four spots last week with that win, or two weeks ago with that win at the U.S. Nationals. Well, that's what she's paid to do. And, um, you know, I, I want to wish her well in this countdown, as, as I do Robert Height or even Tasca, any of the Fords. But at the end of the day, you know, we got championship caliber cars. She's running good. She won Indy. I'm back in the ball game. Robert Height with Auto Club in that Ford. Um, struggling a little bit today, but I know Jimmy Brock and Robert, they'll put it together. Thank you, John. Thank you. You know, they got a grandstand named after John Forrest here. So, Wilkerson, Mike Dunn, what's the story? Pretty much the same situation as Robert Hyde. The bump spot, John Smith with a 4.22.5. You want to set the car up. I don't think he needs to be as maybe as aggressive as Robert. Uh, you know, he's probably going to go out there and try to run a 4.17, 4.18 right in that range just to make sure he gets into this show. Hope he doesn't smoke tires. Wilkerson, 4.28. That hurt. Did not qualify a DNQ. Last time he did that, the Winter Nationals in 2009 in the points fight and not in the field. That hurts, and that's exactly what we were talking about, Mike. The little problems that can snatch that championship away. Well, more than likely he had some uh, issues there because I guarantee he didn't tune to run a 428. It just did not have the horsepower and the clutch application that it needed to get into the show, probably from a mechanical standpoint. We take a look at our funny car point standings after qualifying session number three. John Ford still with that points lead. Jack Beckman quietly there in that number two spot, but Matt Hagen's tied up with him.